Hello and welcome to another Wilderness Tamed video. In this one I'm going to show you how important it is to choose native hedging as opposed to exotic hedging because over hundreds of thousands of years your native shrub species will have been better adapted to your climate and your weather than any exotic stuff. And this video illustrates that perfectly. Let's get to it. So as you can see, the ground conditions are not ideal. It had been raining for months, been a very wet autumn and winter leading up to the planting of these tiny little whips. Uh, now those are sort of one to two year old hedging plants. So I honestly thought once I'd taken the turf off these two strips of this fence line that I was going to condemn these little plants to a dismal death by drowning. Uh, the soil was absolutely saturated. But I planted them in uh, with difficulty. And uh, following autumn, I was back taking the tops off just to encourage more sprouting from the sides. And then every year since then, I've been going back to that same garden and pruning those hedges. As you can see, keeping them to fence height primarily but with the occasional tree left to grow a little bit taller as a perch post for the birds. So you're encouraged in the UK anyway, if you're planting a native hedge to um, every 10 to 20 metres, allow one of those hedging plants to grow taller uh, into its sort of full size. So the exotic species that I wouldn't have considered planting um, laurel, particular privet, uh, holly, you're going to get a constant shower and layer of leaves year round. You're always going to be clearing leaves. Okay, so save yourself the hassle. Buy deciduous, buy native. So I hope you found that useful. Um, just remember, native stuff has had hundreds of thousands of years to adapt to your soil conditions, your climate, and everything that the weather can throw at it. Um, so, yeah, why would you not? Plus the amount of benefits to wildlife far outstrip anything exotic plants could provide. So a lot of your native hedging plants and, and trees um, for sort of windbreaks and shelter belts and things They'll be, you know, some of them will blossom through the spring. Uh, some will have berries through the autumn and winter for the birds to feed on. Uh, some are food plants for various moths and butterflies. So if you like to see butterflies flapping around in the garden, you're going to need to provide them with somewhere to lay their eggs. So the caterpillars have got some shit, something to nibble on. Uh, you can't have one without the other. Um, and then all the other sort of insects and as I say birds and things that will come and make use of a native hedge above and beyond exotic stuff so I'll, yeah okay now I have said enough I uh, hope you've enjoyed it see you in the next one if you'd like to subscribe that would be awesome and um, give me a, a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it if you haven't enjoyed it I'd rather not know um, Let's keep social media negative comment free and make the world a better place. Oh, yeah. See you in the next one.